Hey guys, it's a beautifully cold, crisp day today. I uh, just got back from some snowshoeing and thought I'd spend a little time with you. So, let's talk about tree short course number six, the full model and intro to trimming. Today I'll drive through the full model as I've laid it out and you can see how you've done. I'll post the full model in my blog in both table and graphical format since the video is a little small and it's a little hard to see. Before we go too far, let me show you the notation we'll be using. Blue boxes like this are system components. Green parallelograms are super system elements that we've designated as unchangeable. This can be dictated by our own desires or by others. Remember though that these super system elements may still contain untapped resources that we might be able to exploit and it's important to capture them. The yellow ellipse is the product. That's the special type of super system and what element the system was designed to work on. And remember, there can be only one. We define the interactions between these components as either useful or harmful functions. And we can use our Goldilocks analogy to define those useful functions as excessive, nominal, or insufficient. And the notation looks like this. Here's the full model, and I've decided to remove the shell to simplify the diagram just a little bit. Remember that the shell is going to hold all the components and would be considered a super system element in the model. Here's the float portion of the model, and it works just like the float system in your modern toilet. The water level informs the float, which then closes the valve when the proper level is reached. Now sliding across to the left corner of the model, we can describe the functions of the pump. The pump lifts the water by holding the water line and the distribution lines, which direct the water onto the pads, which we'll see later and the reservoir holds the water that the pump lifts and the pump itself. Now we continue our journey down and we can start talking about the other components like the motor and the pads. The super system element electricity energizes the motor which rotates the fan. Note that I've combined the motor and the belt into a single component called motor but you certainly could have made that belt a separate component for a more complete model. The fan moves the air which happens to hold dust. Pads hold the water, which cool the air, and also traps the dust. But water holds minerals, which the pad also retains. The dust and minerals eventually wash down into the reservoir, where we use a screen around the pump to keep the pump from being damaged. I hope you came up with something like this for your model, and I'll post it in my blog just to see how close you came to mine. Nobody will have the exact same model. It's just a way to describe a system and represent how all the parts work together. So. Big deal, why is this model important? What Altshuler understood was that by subtracting components and not adding them, a term he called trimming, you get more inventive solutions. The system becomes more ideal. And we'll play that game now. In this system, I've defined the pads as doing some harmful things, like holding minerals from the water, and some useful things, like being the media that cools the air. So what happens if I decide to trim that from my system what good things happen? Well, I don't have to replace the pads anymore, which is a nice cost savings for me, but now I need to figure out how to replace the function that the pad was performing. How do I cool the air without a pad? Now certainly I can come up with some ideas that say, let's use a mist, and we've seen those in the, in the high desert areas like New Mexico and Arizona. But what about the ability to trap dust? Now I need to go and think about a function that might perform that. So now here's the homework I want you to do for this week. Play the game, pull a component out, any one that you like, out of the system, and what things happen to the system itself. Do things get better? Do things get worse? What does get better? What does get worse? And how would you solve those problems? See you next week.